Hello! What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a through the years, my man Edger and James representing those Colts, Cardinals, Seahawks, and of course, the University of Miami, aka the U. Now, if you have a suggestion for anybody you want me to do, let me know down in the comment section below. I have my own list, but let me know if I'm missing somebody. Now, anyways, let's kick things off in NCAA 98, which would have been his sophomore year. They haven't won 32, and I did my research. He did win 32 one or two years during college. Now, anyways, man, 74 agility, 75 acceleration, 79 speed, 87 catch, 73 break tackle, and the 68 carry. His numbers for his freshman year at the U, he only played in seven games, 71 attempts, averaged 6.3 yards a carry for a grand total of 446 yards and two TDs. Now, let's move on to NCAA 99 where he comes in with 87 speed, 89 agility, 93 break tackle, 82 for his catching, and then a 92 carry rating. Now his numbers for his sophomore year look like this. He played in 10 games, ran the ball 184 times for 1,098 yards, averaging 6 yards per carry, 13 TDs, and then 1 TD through the air. Now for this year, he averaged 5.9 yards per carry with 17 TDs, 2 TDs through the air, and ran the ball 242 times for 1,416 yards. And of course, became the first running back taken over Ricky Williams in the 2000, no, not the 2000, but the 1999 NFL Draft. Now, let's move on to his rookie season. And Madden 2000 comes in at 85 overall, 92 agility, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 awareness, 64 catch, 75 carry, and then an 85 for his break tackle. His rookie numbers look like this. Started all 16 games. Ran the ball for a league high 369 times for a league high 1,553 yards. 13 TDs. He also caught 62 passes for 586 yards and 4 TDs through the air. Giving him a grand total of 2,139 yards from scrimmage. Now we're going to move on to next gym back then on the PS2. Edwin James comes in at 92 overall with 90 speed, 83 awareness, 95 agility, 95 acceleration, 65 catching, 88 carry, and then 94 break tackle. His numbers for that season look like this. He ran the ball 387 times for a league high, 1,709 yards, 13 TDs. Again, he had five receiving TDs, and he also had 594 yards through the air for a grand total of 2,303 yards all purpose. Now, anyways, let's go to Madden 2002. Edron James comes in at 95 overall, 90 speed, 90 awareness, 95 agility, 95 acceleration, 81 catch, and then an 83 carry, and a 94 break tackle. Now, this year in real life, he only played six games. He ran the ball 151 times for 662 yards, Three TDs, averaging 4.4 yards a carry, averaging 110 yards per game before he got hurt. And he also had one, excuse me, he didn't have a TD through the air, but he did catch 24 passes for 193 yards through the air for this season. Moving on to NFL 2K2, where my man Edwin James comes in at 97 overall and you can see him right there nasty block too oh my goodness makes another man miss and finally gets dropped at about the 15 y'all and check out the replay makes one man miss heads up field gets a nasty block and makes another man miss but now it's time to move on to madden 03 where he is 93 overall marshall falk is on the cover and marshall falk was of course peyton manning's first running back and then you get edwin james Peyton Manning had it good. Anyways, man, we're going to move on to Madden 03 where he comes in at 93 overall, 91 speed, 86 awareness, 90 agility, 95 acceleration, 82 catch, 84 carry, and then a 92 break tackle. His numbers for this season look like this. He started 14 games for the Colts, ran the ball 277 times, only had two TDs, only averaged 3.6 yards per carry, had 989 yards on the ground, one TD through the air for a grand total of 1,300 yards all purpose 2k3 he is 94 overall he also comes in with 85 speed 87 agility 38 for his vision which i feel like is a little bit low 71 for his awareness 87 break tackle and then a 68 catch rating right there takes a pretty nasty hit by al wilson on the very next play he's gonna cut back head up field and break off a big one finally getting brought down by delta o'neill but now it's time to move on to madden 2004 where edron james comes in at 88 
overall, 89 speed, 86 awareness, 87 agility, 88 acceleration, 78 catch, 83 carry, 87 for his break tackle. Now, when we look at the numbers, he played in 13 games. Of course, he started all those games, ran the ball 310 times for 1,259 yards on the ground, plus 11 TDs on the ground, averaging 4.1 yards per carry. He also chipped in with 51 receptions for 292 yards, averaging 5.7 yards per reception. But unfortunately, he did not get in the end zone. Now let's move on to ESPN 2K4 where he comes in again at 87 overall with an 84 break tackle, 87 speed, 68 catch, and an 80 carry. So Edwin James, still one of the better backs in the league, can still get it done. And again, when you're playing with the Colts, the last thing you're going to do is probably run the ball. You can try to air it out with Peyton Manning, but then when you realize you have a great running back in the backfield and you're taking on your friend, sitting on next to you on the couch, you give him a piece of Edwin James, baby. Now, anyways, let's move on to Madden 2005 with Ray Lewis on the cover. Edwin James, he comes in at 92 overall with 89 speed. 87 awareness, 87 agility, 92 acceleration, 78 for his catching, 90 for his carry, and then a 91 break tackle. And as you can see here, he was just one of the better backs to use. He had decent speed, could break tackles, and of course, he was a weapon out of the backfield. Now, his numbers for this year look like this. Started all 16 games for the Colts, ran the ball 334 times for 1,548 yards, 9 TDs. He also averaged 4.6 yards per carry, 96.8 yards per game, chipped in with 51 receptions again, averaging 9.5 yards per catch for 483 yards, but he still did not get into the end zone as a receiver. Now moving on to ESPN NFL 2K5, Edgerton James is sprinting down the sideline and then times they didn't stand a chance. Now anyways, man, he comes in at 87 overall with 79 agility, 86 break tackle, 68 for his catch, and then an 80 carry rating and again that speed is going to carry him all the way to the end zone we will get the ball back and look what edwin james does gets a couple nice blocks and then he was off to races again but this time lance schultz the x for Ghana, chases him down bumps him out of bounds but still a great run right there by my man edwin james put it in work and representing for the you it's a cane things, baby. Now let's move on to Madden 06 on the PS2, where he comes in at 96 overall with 92 speed, 90 awareness, 91 agility, 94 acceleration, 78 catching, 91 carry, and then a 93 break tackle. Now, let's check out his numbers for his last year as an Indianapolis Colt. They look like this. He played in 15 games, started off 15 games, ran the ball 360 times for 1,506 yards, chipped in with 13 TDs to tie his career high. To tie it. Because again, his first two seasons, he got that. Now anyways, man, he averaged 4.2 yards per carry, 100.4 yards per game, chipped in with 44 receptions for 337 yards, averaging 7.7 .7 yards per reception, and he also had one TD through the air. Madden 06 on the Xbox 360, his numbers stayed the same. 96 overall, 92 speed, 90 awareness, 91 agility, 94 acceleration, 78 catch, 91 carry, and then a 93 break tackle. So it didn't matter if you had the PS2 version or you had the Xbox 360 version, you were going to get the best of Edron James. Now let's move on to Madden 07 where he is an Arizona Cardinal. And he comes in at 96 overall again with 92 speed, 92 agility, 93 acceleration, 91 awareness, 90 truck, and 92 elusiveness, 98 ball carrier vision, 92 stiff arm, 96 spin move, and an 88 juke move. Now his numbers for that year look like this. Started in all 16 games for the Cardinals. Ran, ran the ball 336 times for 1,159 yards, 6 TDs on the ground, and he also did not get a TD through the air, but he did chip in with 38 receptions for a grand total of 217 yards, averaging 5.7 yards per reception. Now it's time to move on to Madden 08 with Vince Young on the cover, and Edwin James comes in at 91 overall. He also comes in with 88 speed, 90 agility, 90 acceleration, 90 awareness, 89 for his trucking, 84 elusiveness, 94 ball carry vision, 95 stiff arm, 85 spin move, and then an 86 juke move. And his numbers 
they look like this. Starting all 16 games yet again, ran the ball 324 times for 1,222 yards for 7 TDs, averaging 3.8 yards per carry, also averaging 76.4 yards per game. He chipped in with 24 receptions for 204 yards. Madden 09, he is 92 overall with 85 speed. He also comes in, or 88 speed, excuse me. 90 agility, 85 for his acceleration, 88 for his awareness, 92 trucking, 89 elusiveness, 92 ball carrier vision, 97 stiff arm, 80 for his spin move, 88 for his juke move. His numbers look like this. He played in 13 games, only started seven of those games, rushed for only 514 yards and three TDs. Now, for Madden 2010, I put him back on the Colts, but this would have been a year where he would have played for the Seattle Seahawks. Now, for the Seahawks, he only played in seven games, did not have a start, only ran the ball 46 times for 125 yards, no TDs through the air or on the ground, but he did have three receptions for 19 yards through the air. Now, anyways, man, for Madden 10, he is 84 overall with 84 speed, 85 agility, 85 acceleration, 90 awareness, 80 trucking, 75 the illusionist, 90 ball carrier vision, 92 stiff form, 82 spin move, and then 75 juke. And when we add up all of his overalls and we divide that G thing, we get a 91.5 overall rating for Edge of James for his video game career. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope to see you next time. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace. Awesome.